Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome to 4K. Well, <laughs> we'll see what happens as it, as it gets uploaded to YouTube. But um, so I know you guys have been uh, excuse me. I know you guys have been expecting uh, the rest of the Polynesian Library, the Fantastic Polynesian Library 166 parts two, three, and four. Um, unfortunately, we've run into a problem with the 3M Cantata. Uh, it looks like one of the germanium transistors has gone bad. I've been in the process of uh, recapping everything and it's it's not looking good. It's um, I'll pause here for a second, I'll flip it over and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so normally the 3M cantata should sound um, something like this. hear how how loud it was how dynamic it was I mean for you know quarter inch mono tape it's it's very you know it sounds like quarter inch mono tape but it's it's a uh, you know it sounds pretty good for you know background music in this next clip check out how bad it sounds and how quiet it sounds with that bad germanium transistor and this is after you know all the slider settings have been set to 11 you know i'm trying to get as much get it as loud as possible and this is this was the best i could get out of it As you can you can hear it sounds terrible it sounds like you're listening through a wall you know somebody in the next room or an apartment is got their their you know stereo turned up all the way and you can just barely hear it and unfortunately that's what that's what it sounds like all right um, so here we go so let me show you what the problems are um, so this is the underside of a 3m cantata I think I've I've shown it to you guys before in the in a different video on the channel, um, but the main audio amplifier and all the magic happens on this side, and you got a transformer, an AC, ele um, an AC electric motor, and uh, not really much to speak of on this side. Uh, I did find if you remove this transformer over, if you just casually do that, you can hopefully take a look here. You can see that. There you go. You should see a February 1st, 1967. So now we know at least uh, when this machine was made, we have a firm date, February 1st, 1967. All right, everyone. So this is the audio amplifier board for the 3M Cantata. You can see that there's uh, some of it, I've already been working on it. Some of it's been recapped and uh, you can see some new capacitors. Uh, believe it or not, the electrolytics that I've pulled off this board uh, here, here, this uh, sprig, um, these two blue color ones are original. The blue color ones, um, well, not these shiny blue ones, of course, but these two faded blue ones, those are actually originals, and I've taken both of them out, and they both test okay. Um, you know, they're a little, I would say, weak from age, but they're nothing... Uh, nothing to write home about. I've taken this this can out as well. It's one of those combined capacitors. It tests okay. Um, but everywhere that you know I could get my hands on parts, I've changed them out. You can see that this guy's new. Um, of course, these two are new. Um, and funny enough, I've actually swapped out the two uh, transistors here. The two, uh, well, one's an input, and the other one's output for the one's input for the PA, and the other one's output for um, the speakers and the original ones tested okay. I just happened to have some in stock that I could uh, replace them with and I changed them out. No difference. Um, <clears throat> I think the culprit is this guy right here. I'm going to zoom in here. There, this guy right here because this is the first um, amplifier stage after the, ta the tape head 
is um, the pickup from the tape head is plugged in to these guys, five and six. These two little posts right here, I'm not sure if you can see. Um, and they immediately go into this um, audio amplifier transi transistor. And this is a notorious one for going bad. Um, if you're familiar with some of the older guitar effect um, pedals, this is a 2N26113. And the other one is a 2614. And both are notorious for going bad. And when I tap on them, they actually wake up a little bit and I get a little audio out of it. Um, so the, the problems with this with this machine is are that the there it it's quiet. There's no there's no volume control whatsoever. Um, now that I come to think of it, it might actually be this guy that's bad, the 214, because the 214 is described as terrible. This guy right here um, is bad, and uh, I don't have parts to replace it yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just waiting on parts at this point. Um, it's either these, this one or this one are bad. I know this one is bad for sure. I actually have one of those little uh, Chinese testers. You plug them in, and it'll tell you what's going on and this thing is just way off the map on um, on what it's supposed to be uh, but I actually did not test this one and this one actually could be a culprit as well I, I'm not 100% sure um, I've pulled a sizable amount of the resistors out of this thing I pretty much given up because they all test okay um, realistically it's it to me it seems like it's one of these transistors that have gone bad and well, I know this one's gone bad for sure. I haven't tested this one, but as soon as I get the parts in, I'm going to test them and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> there's actually a 2613 here. Uh, this one, I believe, is a 2613 as well. This one, they're both, uh, all three of these were manufactured by RCA. Um, this one is a 2N2953. This one right here on this side. This The original one tested okay. I happened to have a spare so I swapped it um, test fine there this machine may have suffered from you know leaky capacitors at some point you know that might have been some of the noise in uh, some of the early er, earlier videos but at least it worked um, I did change out the capacitors it works it's quieter it's it's a uh, less hiss less background noise but it, fortunately it still works so I haven't messed it up too bad but I know at least I need to replace this guy, probably this guy, and probably this guy. And the parts are coming. Um, the 2614 is actually very difficult to get. I mean, it's obscene how difficult it is to get one of those transistors. Um, you ha you're either going to have to use um, working pulls out of old equipment, new old stock from somebody's basement, or you're going to be looking at uh, former Soviet Republic um, clones. So, but yeah, it works. And uh, there you go. There's another slow pan on the board, so you can kind of see what's going on. And uh, I have a feeling that uh, if you're still watching, you like what you see. <laughs> Um, for those of you also wondering, I did test the voltage on the, let me pan up here, that transformer, and it does test okay, so I know that that's not the problem. Um, <clears throat> yeah, for some reason it seems like, uh, I noticed the difference on these things is that these leads coming off the transformer are actually soldered directly to the board. You could follow these three wires, which are helpfully labeled, and they go to corresponding points on the on the board. Uh, later ones seem to have a you know a pigtail with a connector um, and the opposite connector on the transformer, and you can actually leave the transformer connected and unbolt the whole assembly. You know, take the just the audio amplifier assembly out without having to take the transformer out. Uh, much better, in my opinion. All right, so sorry for the delay. I hope to get this thing operational as as quick as I get the parts. Um, I know one of the transformers is coming from uh, Belarus, so if anyone's watching from there, thanks for watching. Um, your mail's slow. <laughs>
I thought I'd give you guys an update and, you know, a video, because I know you probably were expecting the part two, part three, and part four of the, of the Polynesian library. So stay tuned. I hope to have that uh, up and running for you at some point. And uh, once again, thanks for watching.